Alright guys, what is up? Today, I'm going to talk to you about how I would structure my diet and how I would structure a client's diet to build muscle. Talking about total calories, talking about the breakdown of those calories into protein, carbs and fats, what the function of those three macronutrients are in the body, how much I believe each person needs as to what their body weight is and what their body fat percentage is. And you combine that with progressive overload in the gym, which is a topic I've covered in a previous video called How to Build Muscle, a complete beginner's guide. I go over progressive overload really in depth and what that means. Basically it means using more weight in the gym over time to build the muscle. You do that combined with what I'm about to tell you around structuring your diet and you're going to be in a really great position to build muscle. So let's get into it. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. All right, so first of all, we're gonna talk about total calories. Now, just like in losing weight, you're gonna to wanna to be taking in less calories than you burn, so your body uses body fat for fuel. When you're trying to gain weight or gain muscle, you're gonna to wanna to be taking in more calories than you burn. So, as far as how many more calories that you burn, let's say you decide that you're, or you find out that your base metabolic rate, which is how many calories you burn on a particular day without any exercise, is 2,500 calories a day, right? If we're talking numbers, take in an extra 500 calories per day, every day of the week. At the end of the week, you're gonna have taken in an extra 3,500 calories, right? They say that 3,500 calories, if you're gonna talk about that as like a fat mass, that is worth half a kg of fat. So basically a pound of fat. So let's say you were in a 500, 500 calorie surplus every single day for that week. At the end of the week, effectively, you should have put on half a kg. Now, if we're talking about how fast you can gain muscle, in the early years, yes, you can gain muscle extremely fast. With steroids, yes, you can gain muscle extremely fast. But after you've been training a couple of years and you're not taking any steroids or anything, you're completely natural, like I am, the gains will slow down. And what you've got to realize is that if you start going into a surplus too, too much or too far into a surplus, you know, five, maybe a thousand calories a day, the weight that you put on it's absolutely impossible that it's all going to be muscle. And, and you know, the art of bodybuilding and the art of building muscle is to put on quality, quality lean muscle without the added body fat. That happens when you have too much of a caloric surplus. So as far as numbers go, I would say stick from around three to 500 calories in a surplus every day, as well as training in the gym. And you're going to be putting on, you know, around you probably want to be sticking to around about half, maybe a pound a week tops. Of that, I can't tell you how much is going to be muscle and how much is going to be fat. Who knows? Everyone's different. But obviously at the end of a bulk, you know, 12, 16, 20 weeks, whatever, you can see how much weight you've put on. You can also see how much fatty you've got. And from that, you can determine how much muscle you've put on. So, you know, that's total calories. From there, we break total calories up into macronutrients. So we're going you know, either protein, carbs, or fats. I'm sure you've heard at least one of those, if not all three. So they all have a legitimate function in the body. You need some protein, some carbs, and some fats in the body um, to build muscle. You need it for bodily function, like I said, but as far as how much of each and the ratio that you use, I'm about to tell you what I use and you know, what I'd get my clients to use. These are numbers that I've had experience with over the last five, six years. I've seen people get results with these numbers and you know, I've read forum after forum after forum after study after study and these are the numbers that I've come to a conclusion with and the numbers I'm gonna tell you. All right, so the first macro we're gonna be talking about is protein. Now protein, protein's the building blocks of muscle, man. You know, you combine taking an inadequate protein amount with training your muscle group and it's gonna grow. As far as how much protein you need, now um, many numbers have been thrown out there, but what I like to stick to, okay, especially if I'm trying to build muscle, I'm gonna to wanna to stick to one gram to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. Now, the weight that I'm gonna use for this particular equation is gonna be the weight that I want to get to. So let's say I'm 200 pounds now, I want to get to 220 pounds. The number that I'm going to use is 220, so I'm going to go 220 times 1 to 1 1.2. That's 220 to, you know, like 260 grams of protein. So 
Between 220 to 260 grams of protein is what I would be taking in. Now each gram of protein has four calories in it. So let's say 250 for the video's sake. 250 by four is 1,000. So you've got 250 grams of protein, which is worth 1,000 calories. Okay, that's the protein, done. Now you've got fats. Okay, fat is an essential nutrient to have in the body. Not only is it important for your hormonal function, it's important for brain function. It's also important to you know lubricate your body. Think of it as oil. It, it really is. It acts like it in, in the body, in the joints and things, um, as well as you know taking in your, your fish oil, which is also just another form of fat. It's going to put you in good stead to you know have a, a nice healthy body. Now, as far as numbers go with fats, once again, lots of studies, lots of forums, experience, etc. So you know if I'm going to want to put on lean muscle with the least amount of body fat as possible. The fat I'm going to want to keep to a, a minimum or keep to what I, I need for my body plus a little bit more. So as far as what I believe people need, once again we're going to be talking about you know if you're 200 pounds you want to be bulking up to 220. I believe you know to facilitate all of those functions that I just said you're going to want to be having from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 grams of fat per pound of body weight. So once again I'd be using that number you want to get to as the number to calculate your macros. So we, we're talking, I want to get to 220 pounds. 220 by 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 is going to be 66 grams to 110, right? So 110 grams of fat is probably going to be on the high side. I'd probably stick around the 0 0.4 mark. I think that's pretty perfect, to be honest. So for me personally, I'm 200 pounds. I want to be bulking to 220. I'd be on 80 to 90 grams of fat a day. And you know, that would keep me satiated as well as not being too high that I'm putting in extra calories. Think about fat, protein equals, you know, four calories per gram. Fat is a lot more condensed. There's obviously a lot more atoms in there. As you can see, you know, with these really, really dense, fucking fatty, you know, treat foods, the calories are through the roof because of the such high fat contents. Each gram of fat actually has nine calories, so you do need to be careful. You know, like I said, don't put it too high. Around about that 0 0.4 is perfect. If you really want to push it, I'd say 0 0.5 would be max. And if you really want to try and reduce the amount of extra body fat you're going to put on whilst bulking, I'd say bring it back down to 0 0.3. So that's protein and fat. Both of those nutrients have very, very important functions in the body. Now we get to the fun part, which is carbs. Everyone loves carbs, don't they? So it's all numbers from here, guys. So you've, you've calculated how many calories you need to take in to make sure you're in a caloric surplus to put yourself in a good position to build muscle. From there, you calculate your protein amount, calculate your fat amount. So let's say you've got 2,000 more calories that you need to take in. You've got your protein, you've got your fats. Where else is it going to come from? It's going to come from carbs. So like protein, and unlike fat, carbs, each gram of carbs is uh, four calories total. So if we're talking about, you know, let's say you do have 2000 calories more to take in. What's that? That's 500 grams of carbs. So for me, on this particular bulk, I would be having 250 grams of protein a day. I'd be having 80 grams of fat a day, and I'd be having 500 grams of carbs a day. And that would put me in a fantastic position to build muscle, I'm telling you. So as far as function in the body, um, carbohydrates are hugely important, just like the other two nutrients. Everyone loves carbs, right? Everyone loves carbs. They taste fucking good. Obviously, you've got your high sugar carbs, your, your more simple carbohydrates, which get absorbed by the bloodstream just like that. From there, you've also got your complex carbs, so your things like wheat bix or rice or oats which get absorbed into the bloodstream a lot slower. The blood sugar spike is a lot lower. You're fuller for longer and, you know, there's no crash from that, that sugar rush or that, you know, that spike in the blood sugar. So as far as the type of carbs you're going to want to be taking in, I would say go for your complex carbs. Maybe a little bit of sugar in there is fine. All right. I would probably put a limit on myself. You know, if I had the 500 grams of carbs I was going to have that day, I'd say probably 20% of it could be sugar. The rest needs to be from good, fibrous, wholesome, whole grain sources. So the function of carbs in the body, it gives you the energy you need. To build muscle, you're going to have to push yourself in the gym. You're going to have to really, really fucking 
go for it, you know? Once you step outside of the gym, that's when the repair process starts, all right? So building muscle is you're literally tearing down the muscle fibers. You're tearing those little muscle fibers. That's the burn. To build muscle, you've got to love the burn, man. There's no, there's, there's no way around it. No pain, no gain, all right? That, once you get out of the gym, the repair process starts. The protein you take in is, is going to be facilitating the repair process on those torn down muscles. But what actually, you know, it's funny, the, the carbs you take in, the carbs act like a shuttle service, all right? So what happens is you take the carbs in, the pancreas releases insulin, which then goes out, grabs the carbohydrates, and brings them into the muscle cells. Now, it not only brings the carbohydrates into the muscle cells, it brings all the other nutrients in too. So it helps bring the protein into the muscle cells. And you know, that's how the pancreas works. It sends out little messengers to go and grab the energy that you've brought into the body and break it down and use it for fuel. So that's how I like to see it anyway. Um, if you've got any other way of explaining it, please let me know. But basically, so the carbohydrates you take in, not only is it gonna push you into a caloric surplus, it's gonna help shuttle all the nutrients into the muscles that you need throughout the day. It's gonna give you the energy that you need throughout the day. That's what carbs do, man. That's what carbs do. So you've got your protein, you've got your fats, you've got your carbs, you've got to be in a caloric surplus. The final thing I'll touch on is timing. So if we're gonna be talking about meal timing, I honestly don't think it matters. The main thing you're gonna be worried about is pushing yourself hard as fuck when you need to in the gym. So if that means you take in, you know, 200 of your 500 grams of carbs before you train and then the rest after, well, that's up to you. You do need a good amount of carbs post-training, like I said, to be those messengers to then shuttle the, the nutrients into the body. So if I had 500 in a day, I would most probably have around about 200 to 250 before I trained and then the rest of it after I trained. As far as protein goes, I would say split it up into you know four or five different meals throughout the day. Protein comes in all different sources. I'm gonna be making another video on that. It doesn't have to all be chicken and protein shakes, but I would say split your protein up into four or five meals throughout the day. So if I'm having 200 grams of protein, or 250 grams in this case, I'd be splitting it up into five 50 gram meals as well as the carbs. So I hope I've covered everything. My battery is just about to run out. I feel like I've been talking for ages. I hope you've got something from this. Subscribe for more. There's a lot more videos coming. I'm, um, I'm really rolling with this. So good luck, guys. Have fun building some muscle. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Strange.